Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Just for Fun. This is Matt. Um, here today, we're taking a break from our Just for Fun decks to play some modern and uh, sort of a semi competitive budget modern deck. Um, I'm calling it Red White Delver Hate. Uh, it's, I'm not going to take credit for the idea. Most of this deck is uh, based on Caleb Durward's deck. Shout out Caleb D. And uh, I just kind of budgetified it to a certain extent. Um, let's walk through some of our choices here and why we think this is a good metagame call at the moment. Um, so, you know, before I start explaining individual choices, right now, online at least, the most represented decks are all red decks. So, uh, Blue Red Delver and Burn are the two most popular decks online. Uh, so we want a deck that main deck is, is geared against those decks. Um, and what are some other decks uh, that are good in the format that have mountains in them? Uh, Twin, uh, Scape Shift, uh, Red, White, Blue Control. Uh, so there are a lot of decks with mountains that are powerful right now. So how do we combat that? Well, this is our deck that we've designed to, to combat that. So let's start off with the land. So in terms of budgeting... You'll notice in my 23 lands here, there's no Arid Mesas. Uh, and there's two reasons for that. One, uh, or three reasons, really. One, uh, two-color decks don't need fetch, fetch lands. I know nobody will agree with me on that, but it's it's just they don't need it. I mean, it might make certain cards better and be better in certain situations, but I don't think it's necessary for every competitive deck to have sets of ridiculously expensive cards. Okay, enough said. Two, um, there's no deck manipulation effects here where it matters that we're shuffling or not. Three, those deal damage to you, and our deck is sort of a, uh, has a sub-theme of life gain to it because we want to be good against Burn and Delver, and how do we do that? Well, gaining life is a good way to do that. So, um, for example, we've included some life gain lands, and I mentioned uh, earlier how I thought these were tremendously powerful, and uh, they're going to make their way into a lot of my pauper decks when I feel fit to revisit that. Um, we've got uh, Sacred Foundry, Clifftop Retreat, a couple Guild Gates, and uh, just rounding out the rest, uh, a couple Snow Cupboards uh, for style points. Um, now, uh, in our one drop slot, what do we got going on? We have uh, very effective removal in Path and Bolt, so can sort of hit uh, any you know, anything along the curve here with our paths and bolts. Um, Swift Spear is our is one of our clocks, uh, and it's very resilient, and it goes well with a lot of the uh, spells in this deck, goes well with all the non-creature spells just to um, pump it, deal additional damage, goes really well with Volcanic Fallout. Uh, when you cast this, the Prowess Trigger keeps the Swift Spear alive through the Fallout, which is very nice. Um, now, also in the one drop drops, you'll see four full main deck Relic of Progenitus. What's up with that? Well, this is, um, you know, basically Delve has warped the format. So this is a, 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 um, a settlement with respect to Delve, uh, a concession so that we can be competitive against Treasure Crews. And, you know, one way to do that is to keep opponent off of enough cards uh, in the graveyard to cast treasure crews and uh, also drawing a card in the in the prog uh, progress of that process of that is very effective. Um, you know, it's never it's never totally dead. There are a lot of graveyard strategies. Um, you know, you can use it against uh, pod sometimes. Um, you know, there are some good uh, effects of this card, and at, at the very least, it cycles for two mana, so it's never totally dead. Plus, it gives you something easy to side out in a lot of matchups um, if you don't want it. Um, this is the superstar of the deck. The deck is built around Core Firewalker. This is a really unassuming card. It doesn't look like much when you look at it uh, on its face. And then in practice, it, it's pretty ridiculous. It can gain you, you know, double-digit life in a game. It can uh, totally stun an opponent's assault. It totally blanks the removal. So Burn and Delver, if you land this, they just can't get rid of it. And that makes it very effective at uh, swinging the advantage in your, in your way. Uh, 
Herb Trail and Helix are just effective uh, removal spells. Boros Charm is kind of a, a mise here. This is just a, um, you know, a one of for, uh, you know, in case of Wrath or Supreme Verdict or Damnation or some similar effect. Uh, and, you know, also it can end the game out of nowhere with War Point Burn spell to the face. Um, so just an effective one of, speaking of which, Banishing Light, just a good catch-all, get rid of anything that we can't deal with kind of card. Um, Fallout's a really powerful, really powerful, can't be countered. Very good against Delver, very good against Young Pyro tokens. Um, gets rid of a lot of the uh, problem cards in the format uh, and can't be countered. Also, doesn't kill our Firewalker, doesn't kill our Swift Spear doesn't kill our Boros Reckoner. Uh, actually, Boros Reckoner makes Fallout into a, a, burn, a big burn spell or another removal spell um, because the two damage you deal to the Reckoner, you can redirect to something else also. So uh, another way I've changed Caleb's list to make it more budget is in this spot he had Chandra Pyromaster and in this spot he had uh, Storm Breath. Now, um, basically... That, I think the point of that was to get some sort of, uh, you know, top end, hard to deal with, finisher kind of things. Um, what uh, Chandra, this Chandra is utility. It kills a lot of creatures in the format. You can also copy your spells, which works really well with burn spells and fallouts. And we've got, you know, quite a bit of removal on the deck that we can copy. We can copy our fallouts. Um, so the, the minus two is a very effective ability in the deck. And if they don't deal with it, the, um, the, you know, flame wave kind of ultimate can be fatal. Uh, Bane Slayer, again, is just a hard to get rid of card. Now, um, of course, if you're, we might side these out if we're playing against a deck with a lot of counter spells or a deck that is playing Path to Exile, uh, but in Delver or Burn, Unless they're playing this member, which would be really unusual, it takes two spells to get rid of this guy. So um, that's really, uh, it's just a really powerful end game kind of threat. And it gains life, which fits into the rest of our theme here. And gaining life is good when we're playing fallouts, um, damaging ourselves, uh, you know, and also just to, to race ahead. Now, I did build the sideboard for this. It's not perfect, but, you know, it's a start. Um, so there's a fourth path in here against <coughs> Pod or other decks where we need to exile creatures. A um, couple Aegis of the Gods for uh, burn and, uh, you know, or storm or matchups where, you know, this might be a valuable effect. Um, also because I don't have Ley Line of Sanctity and it's like, I think it's like three tickets last time I checked. So once somebody wants to spot me some of those, I'm going to play this dude for now. Um, combust is in case of twin, and it also it's good against a lot of decks. I would play this in red, against red, white, blue control to beat um, three, four flying angel flash guy. Um, Electricery is good against pyro. Um, just another way to deal with uh, tokens. Um, let's talk about uh, two extra fallouts. These come in against Delver. Um, just you know, just a beating this card. Um, and I don't mind them in multiples because they can close out a game, especially when we're uh, gaining lots of life. Uh, Shatterstorm is for affinity, obviously. Uh, Boil. I never, I didn't even see this card until recently. I saw it in, in some lists online, and I was like, "What is that?" I had to look it up, and I was like, "Are you kidding? That's an instant four mana instant blow up all islands." Um, you know, Bluetron is a horrible matchup for this deck, so um, this could be good. Uh, in there, it's I've played it against Delver, against Jeskai Ascendancy, and it's been pretty effective. Um, and Wear Tear again is just kind of like a good catch-all sideboard card, um, you know, to to uh, stop certain hate against our deck too. So we're gonna uh, play a couple games in tournament practice room, which is like a bit of a higher level of competition. And I tell you what, uh, I'm gonna play at least three matches. Um, if we go, if we have a positive record, I think we'll play an actual tournament, uh, and you guys can see 
why I don't play competitively because I guarantee I'll punt all over the place. But we'll give it a shot. This is the deck. I think it's a good deck. Red, white, dollar, hate. And um, let's, let's show it to you in action. Hopefully we get some good matches. Okay, thanks.